For the groom, traditional wedding attire is a top hat and tails. But as I found out when I met Keith Emery from KK Wedding Services, there are a lot more options available. <laughs> Hello there, Keith. How to do? <laughs> now, many people hire their suits when going to a wedding. What sorts of things, apart from, of course, what size they are, should people be considering when hiring a quality suit or tuxedo? One of the first things they should consider is what style they want. Uh, you've already said about a suit or a tuxedo. Do you want formal suits? There are several styles of formal suits. There is morning suits, uh, frock coats, Edwardian styles, more modern stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people now are now using lounge suits, ordinary lounge suits to get married in, but everybody in the same style lounge suit. So there's quite a wide variety for them to choose from. I see. Also, they need to think about what comes with the suit. Mm. Uh, does it include the shirts, the cravats, waistcoats, uh, paint leather shoes, top hats, whatever else they want? Is it all included in the price? And not added on afterwards. Very important. It's very, very yeah. important. Would you be choosing from a catalogue when considering styles? Um, some shops do do that. Uh, personally, I wouldn't recommend that because it's not, it's not good because you only get to try that actual suit on one week before the wedding. I see. And that is not good because you need to actually try the suit, make sure that everything fits. Suits goes up in sizes of two inches, like you're either a 36 or 38, 40 or whatever. If you happen to fall in one of the in-between sizes, then you could get a suit which is not just the way you want oh, it. I see. If you have suits in stock, most people that hold suits in stock will do a small alteration to make sure that the suit will fit exactly to your size. Right. So, that so you would recommend that it's not simply the groom who needs to be fitted, you would recommend that everybody be fitted personally? The whole the whole party that's going to be wearing the suits need to come in and be fitted I personally. See. How much in advance would you recommend that they do that? The longer you have before the lead up to your wedding, the more choice you've got. Mm -hmm. Because every retailer will be restricted to the number of suits in a particular size that he carries. I see. So if you get four or five weddings at the same weekend, all want in the same style, somebody's going to be out of luck. Mm. So if you order well in advance, and get measured well in advance, you know that your style is what you wanted, I it's see. going to be available. As far in advance as reasonably possible yes. then. And at the latest, six months before the wedding, and then with children, you bring them back in one month before the wedding to make sure that they have an order in size at all. Okay. Interesting point with children. Um, are styles available for children in respect of most? Yes, most ranges? retailers uh, should be able to uh, cope with children down to about two and a half, three years of age. Oh, good. In most of the available styles. In most of the available styles. Okay. And in respect of the adults, um, would you be able to offer extra large sizes when necessary? Yes. Uh, you should be able to get sizes up to triple XL, which means 56, 58 inch chest. I see. Now, Keith, <laughs> in respect of damage, um, mm -hmm. what would the situation be if I returned the suit <laughs> in a condition other than that which I hired in? Right. Now, a lot of retailers work on the credit card system, uh, same as you pay a deposit on a car when you hire it, and they take your card, and any damages afterwards are taken out of your credit card. Others just turn around and say, well, you can take out insurance against the damage, and others don't bother at all. They just tell the client, return the suit to us. If the damage is too severe, then we'll have to invoice you for it. Otherwise... I see. We accept it. Keith, can you buy the suit instead of just hiring it? Yes, you can, but it's not really viable to do so because you're paying a lot of money for a very expensive suit which you might only use once or maybe twice in your lifetime because the suit you wore for your wedding might not be the style that your friend wants to wear at his wedding. So it's, it could be a wasted project. So unless you're filthy rich, best to hire. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. And when would the suit need to be collected and returned after the wedding? Normally the suit is collected on the Thursday before the wedding, gives you a chance to try it and make sure it's all all right and returned again on the Monday after the wedding or the Tuesday, depending on I see. So retailers open hours. hours. Days grace. Yes. Yeah. And in the case of the groom who might be whisking himself off uh, to the other side of the world, mm -hmm. um, what would the case be there in respect of returning the suit? Well, normally there's plenty of family left around. 
uh, and either the best man takes that on as part of his duties, oh, I see. or the parents of the bride or the groom can always drop their suits back in. There's Good many point. opportunities for them. Say a wedding is actually taking place abroad and you're uh, hiring suits, would that be permissible? Yes, a lot of retailers allow you to take your suits abroad. There is normally a small surcharge for that service because the suits are away for a couple of weeks. Uh, but normally it's only a very small surcharge. Excellent. And you'd obviously get an extended return oh, yes. time yes. Um, covered by that surcharge. That's right. Yeah. OK, Keith, you've made some very valuable points. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Much appreciated. OK. When looking into suit or tux hire, always try to select your suit off the rail rather than from a catalogue. Make sure that you try your suit on before booking. Always fit the wedding party, not just the groom. Establish what the policy is as far as damage to clothing is concerned.